Chris Ross the leader. I ain't no buddy, he says. <laughs> well, Chris, sit in that hot seat, but get ready like the rest of us to enjoy one of the great freestylers in the game in his new truck. Cam McQueen had this place talking a year ago when he completed the first ever backflip in World Finals competition in Nitro Circus. Now he's back in Northern Nightmare. And remember, he set a record last year that cannot be broken, it can only be tied. Coming out first, getting in the hot seat, and staying there the entire rest of the night. His only problem was right. he got company and Jim Kohler eventually, eventually won the world title on a tiebreaker. You know Northern Nightmare is so proud and wants to take it that next step. He's been representing all year. He's had a great season on the Maple Leaf Tour. So many fans who have followed him in great places like Edmonton and, and Toronto and all over Canada. They're here in the house tonight. The Maple Leaf Tour is representing. Oh, look oh, at this. Yeah. Here he goes again. <laughs> okay, now that's completely different. Look at it. This is the drivers of the World Finals Labs. They're all Cam McQueen fans right now. About this time last year in his freestyle, he had made the attempt to do his backflip. Now he's done a front flip, a somersault per se. Who knew a monster truck could do that? Cam McQueen pulls another rabbit out of his hat. And, this and is look at this, regulation. look at this, look at this. He's setting up here. He's going to go for it. Oh, my. And it's cleaner. Last year, he oh, kissed the nose yeah. before he got it down to the wheels. Uh, uh, he uh, stuck uh, that landing, and all this is in regulation. His regulation scores had better be through the roof, or if I'm a judge, I'm hiding. But the fans are going to watch it. Oh, my. Bonus time. Cam McQueen oh. continuing now into bonus time. His first hit is an incredible sky wheelie. The truck is together. This boy is hot. The Maple Leaf is standing proud as Northern Nightmare, the first truck ever built specifically to represent Canada in advanced auto parts Monster Jam competition, is going for a world championship. Cam McQueen is putting that bar way up there. Well, I can tell you right now, Scott, what, what a nightmare this is going to be, a Northern Nightmare, per se, for the rest of these drivers that have not been on this track for freestyle, because now they're all thinking, my plans just went out the window because Cam ruined it. What do you do when you end up tied for the world championship? By the way, the scores are in. This is extra for the fans on top of all that. Cam but like, but what do you it. do when you tie for the world title and you lose in the tiebreaker? You can sulk about it, you can complain about the rules, or you can come out next year and do this. Yeah. This, is, this is so much better than what he did a year ago. He has raised the bar. It's proof in the pudding. He's not one run and done, but he's going to be done right there oh. with a hoof of the tranny as he went to go into a Cyclone Donut and unloaded the trans. Listen to this place, and believe me, there are a whole bunch of fans from all over Canada who are awful proud of that Maple Leaf right now. Northern Nightmare. You know, no doubt he's got the lead. The only question is where the score is going to take him to. Look at the time. See, oh. This, I feel foolish even talking about it. This speaks for itself. On board with Cam in your bottom right. You see him as he comes back down, sees he's still able to move. He grabs a hold of the throttle, knows he's still got it going on, whipping some crazy Cyclone Donuts and getting big air, and then this move right here. First one to hit the container, and that was what he was looking for. So he had the perfect ramp, and he nailed it. Absolutely perfect. Dennis Anderson watched this, and he's got to come out later. These guys are tough, they're good. This is a good freestyle. Cam, man, I'm gonna tell you right now, Cam McQueen just laid down a sweet one. Not only did he do a front flip, he done a back flip and kept on going. That was a tight, tight run right there. I'm gonna tell you that these guys are good. I just I just turned around and told some of the young guns behind me, I, I just might as well go home. But you know what? I'm here to celebrate my 30th anniversary. I hope I can pull off something out there because this is gonna take some good luck riding from this old guy to beat those boys tonight, I'm gonna tell you that.